San Joaquin County is sounding the alarm tonight after an invasive species of mosquito is found in the county for the first time. But these bloodsuckers aren't your average mosquito. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is getting answers tonight on why the county is asking you to call them if one bites you. Officials announced today that they found this invasive mosquito for the first time in Manteca. Now they're typically smaller than your average mosquito. They only bite humans and they typically do so in the afternoon hours. Now San Joaquin officials say they know that this mosquito has been spreading across San Joaquin County since 2019. So that population is growing. It's something they need your help to stop. Ramping up surveillance. This is a very fearless mosquito and they're very aggressive biters to stop a pesky population from spreading. They're invasive species and we of course want to go ahead and be able to control the species as much as we can. Unlike native mosquitoes, the yellow fever mosquito or Aedes aegypti has telltale markings. Unique marking on the thorax here, this liar shaped marking. And then they also have this contrasting black and white with the stripes on the legs and this can be seen with the naked eye. Plus, when compared to your average mosquito. This is a, one of our winter mosquitoes. They're two times smaller. Uh, about a quarter inch. Sumiko de la Vega studies the insects daily. They're getting ready to pupate pretty soon and then they'll turn into the adult mosquito. The eggs are small and hard to see. I'm probably about 50 on this one but could be living in your backyard. Neighbors should check any sources of standing water, like bird baths, pots for plants, even trash or debris, and clean them out daily. Um, anything that's out there that can hold water, that's a potential place for them to lay their eggs. The Aes aegypti generally has a flight range of one mile, so if we can go ahead and consolidate it to that one mile, is a lot easier to track and control. If a mosquito bites you in the afternoon, it's likely the yellow fever mosquito. You're urged to call the San Joaquin Mosquito Control district so they can begin population control in the area. So if we don't find out immediately about it, those generations can start to rapidly grow. So that's the most alarming aspect of it. Now the risk of disease spread is low. The mosquitoes are vectors, so they can carry things like yellow fever or Zika. But right now officials say there's no evidence that they are spreading those diseases in San Joaquin County or in California. Now that could change if this mosquito population continues to grow.